guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. We got a crazy episode for you guys today, starting off with the big one, which is Goon Squad's response to actually yesterday's video and Chris talking about the sort of overlap, the coincidences that occur between their two channels, Goon Squad and Be Is For Build. In addition to that big news, we also have Daily Driven Exotics, Alex Choi, Stradman, Shmi, Amelia Hartford, Vehicle Virgins, F Spot. It's gonna be a crazy episode, guys. Get ready. And a reminder, if you love supercar community news, make sure to lightly tap the subscribe button. We are excited to have you here. We've got exclusives on the way. We've got up to the minute supercar community news. We try to do our best to keep you guys in the know. So if you guys watched yesterday's big episode, we had almost a six minute exclusive sort of video that Chris for B is for Build put together for us, sort of detailing the timeline, the sort of weird coincidences, the overlap and the minutia of everything that people have been saying about Goon Squad and B is for Build and the overlapping content that exists. Now, I for one thought he did an excellent job of sort of laying out, you know, what people's concerns were, talking about things that maybe hadn't been talked about previously. I thought it was a very well-spoken and, you know, great video from Chris that outlined the entirety of the situation. But there were a number of comments in the video yesterday that like, well, where's Goon Squad's response? What do they have to say about this particular issue? So of course we reached out to them and we actually got a response back that I think a lot of you guys are gonna be really happy with. So when I asked them for a response, here's what they said. They said, yes, Definitely was a crazy sequence of coincidences. I just watched the video as well. I'm glad that there are no hard feelings. I hate that that happened like that, but I guess we think very similar. We totally support him and his channel. Well, there you have it, guys. It seems like both channels have moved on from the, uh, well, the pseudo controversy. Uh, it seems like the majority of the controversy, we'll call it that for a moment, uh, came from a lot of people in the comments not understanding the, the minutia of what actually occurred. We got a lot of that from Chris's video yesterday outlining everything that sort of occurred. I think Chris did a really great job of sort of clearing the air with that, and apparently Goon Squad agrees. So thanks to Chris from Bees for Build and for Goon Squad for sort of shedding light on this situation and being able to move on and start enjoying the rebuild process once again. So thanks so much for giving us a response, and uh, yeah, what do you guys think in the comments below? Are you happy with the responses? Are you happy with the explanation? Uh, I can't really see anything that wasn't talked about here yet, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below so we can take a look at it. Into our next story. And if you watch Daily Driven Exotics' latest episode, so, you know, the mercy has broken down yet again, and there's talks, and we don't know how serious the talks are yet, but maybe we can get to the bottom of it, of whether or not they will sell the mercy. They actually called Ed Bullion up, uh, and sort of pseudo said that, yes, they're looking to sell the mercy, potentially, gotta bring it back to stock, take the wrap off, all that kind of jazz. Might be a little while before we see that, but do you guys want to see them sell the mercy? It seems like they're getting closer and closer. They're broaching the topic more and more, getting rid of the mercy or doing something crazy with it. At some point, they're gonna have to pick one or the other. What do you guys think they're gonna do? Put in the comments below. Additionally, Alex Toy has now released his McLaren 720S wrap, which is a combination of some of the previous wraps he's done. I think it's sort of a two-tone down the middle split, different color schemes from his original wraps. It's a really cool design. I've seen it with a number of different photos at this point, and I'm a huge fan of it. What do you guys think of his wrap below? Make sure to go watch his entire reveal where he explains in detail all the inspirations that he sort of, you know, received to build that wrap. And next on our list is actually Stradman, who is prepping for the the big next Aventador mods. More stuff from the 1016 Industries kit. It's gonna look even crazier than it already was. So if you've enjoyed what his Aventador looks like, get ready for an even more mean and aggressive version. Check it out. Next on our list is actually Vehicle Virgins. I haven't talked about him in a little while, but he has a really, really fantastic video on the McLaren Senna GTR debuted at Goodwood. This is an incredible uh, first person viewpoint of the drive of this through the hill climb. It's really fantastic fantastic to watch and is, uh, is pretty terrifying at certain parts. If you've never seen what it feels like to be behind the wheel of a car like that at a race like this, you're gonna wanna check it out. And Shmi has a garage update for us. If you've been having trouble keeping track of all the cars that Shmi is buying and selling and having repaired and all that sorts of jazz, having serviced, this is gonna be the video for you. There are so many cars he has in transit right now. It's definitely a good video to go watch. If you wanna be up to date on what he's actually keeping and what's actually going, check it out. And we've got a double dose of Amelia Hartford next. Uh, first, she has a video out that is her pulling her engine out of her car. And then second, we have actually received our short 
short form interview with Amelia Hartford. We'll be airing that sometime this weekend. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I certainly did. We tried to ask some of the fun questions a lot of you wanted me to ask her. I think you're going to enjoy her responses. So make sure to stay tuned for our interview with Amelia Hartford sometime this weekend. And last but not least is F Spot with some incredible footage of the Goodwood Hill Climb uh, with the new De Tommaso. A truly astounding car. Uh, one of my favorite looking cars that I've seen debuted in a number of years. You're going to want to see this footage. The V12 engine in that car sounds absolutely sick. Go check out his footage. It is some of the best that you will see covering that car so far. And that's going to do it for today, guys. But a quick note on the sort of BS for Build Goon Squad stuff. While most people understood that it was a necessary thing to talk about, because a lot of people in the comments of both channels were sort of, you know, firing back and forth, and it was kind of a weird thing to witness, I thought it was important that we let both creators clear the air a little bit. I thought they did a really fantastic job doing so. We weren't trying to throw fuel on the fire uh, the way that some people sort of accused us of doing. We were really just trying to clear the air with, you know, clear, concise answers from both creators about kind of what occurred. And I think that my channel is a good platform for that. They don't really want to waste an entire episode of their own channel doing it. We can talk about the minute details that occurred within that on our channel because that's what we're sort of set up to do. So a quick explanation of why we talked about that issue. And I did debate it for a little bit to see if it was the right move for the community, but I wanted to give you guys the explanation of what actually occurred. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great Tuesday. It's Tuesday today, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Same time, same-ish place. Bye.